Welcome to the New Bedford Whaling Museum. We're here today aboard the Lagoda. Now, the Lagoda is actually the largest scale model in the world. It's a half scale. Uh, that being said, it's still 83 feet long, and it gives you an idea of actually what a whaling vessel must look like uh, around 1841. Well, here today in New Bedford, we're going to talk to Mike, the librarian. He's going to tell us a little bit about the history of whaling in New Bedford and the history of whaling in general. We're also going to take a look at some of the artifacts, in particular, some of the skeletons of uh, sperm whales and humpback whales, which will give us really an idea of how large these mammals really were. So stay tuned for this episode. We've got lots to see here at the New Bedford Whaling Museum. Well, we're going to take you for a little tour of the Lagoda, and I'm going to start actually in the bow, and uh, this is the windlass. This basically would raise or lower the anchors, and not only that, it was the main winch on board, so it would help um, raise or lower the sails sometimes, but specifically for the anchors. Um, follow me. Over here. Well, this is actually, this is, uh, you'll only see these on whaling boats, and this actually were the kettles. This would, they would take the uh, whale blubber, pieces of the whale, cut them into smaller hunks, throw them inside here, and they'd actually have a fire going. So they would melt the uh, whale to whale oil, and then the whale oil would be skimmed off the top and thrown into the cask. So once they would actually um, kill a whale, these fires might be going for a day or two. So it's pretty unusual you'd have these smoking, smelly, uh, whale boiling kettles here on board, and that was all part of the whaling process. Over here, well, this is really one of the primary uh, winches on board, and they would use this actually to pull up the very, very large sections of the whale. Now, the whale would be dragged back to the boat, and then at that point, with really, um, really large spades, they would cut off the uh, whale blubber, almost like you peel an apple, uh, take those sections, bring them on board the boat, they would be cut into smaller pieces, then brought to those kettles there to be boiled down to whale oil. So it was a pretty grisly existence, a pretty grisly job. Well, back here, we, we get to see actually um, where the boat was driven. Back here is the whale house. This is the binnacle. Um, this was the access actually to get down below where the cruise quarters would be. But it was here really the business of uh, sailing took place. So it's a remarkable boat here, the Lagoda. It's kind of like a toy boat, but it is the largest model that I've ever seen. And it really gives you an idea of what it was like aboard a whaling vessel in the 1840s.